Hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily create mandala designs for current book pages or for other print on demand designs inside Affinity Designer. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before I go into showing you the process of creating those mandala designs, let me just talk about a little bit about this channel. Now, if you want to skip this part, uh, you can, but I would highly appreciate if you can please just watch this part. Now, in my previous two videos, I have requested uh, the audience of this channel to please subscribe to this channel. At that time, there were 94% of the audience uh, that were not subscribed to this channel. Now, uh, it has dropped to 92% and thanks to the new subscribers. But still, uh, I'm pretty far from reaching that threshold where Google allows this channel to monetize. Now, Google has a threshold of 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours to, uh, in order to monetize any channel. So as you can see here, I have not reached that threshold. Now it takes time to create this content and make these videos. Now, if you appreciate uh, uh, these videos and you find these videos to be helpful, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that I can reach that threshold. So uh, let's now get back to the creating the mandala designs inside Affinity Designer. I have created these six templates of mandalas that you can use with Affinity Designer. Now after downloading these templates, you will find these six uh, files inside the, uh, that zip folder. And uh, for, uh, for the purpose of uh, easy viewing, I have uh, already created some little bit design inside them so that you can easily view these templates in the form of thumbnails before upload, uh, before uh, opening these files inside Affinity Designer. So let me show you how you can easily create those mandala designs with using these templates. So uh, let's just open this hexagon template. So once you open up these templates inside Affinity Designer, there are three layers uh, inside the layers panel, the boundary layer, which is actually hidden uh, currently by default. So uh, if you want a, a border outside this, uh, these uh, your mandala, you can simply uh, unhide this boundary layer and you can uh, and, you know, select the color, whatever you want. But by default, it is hidden. Now, when you want to create the designs, you have to click on this small triangle and again, there will be a small triangle layer. So let's click it again. And now inside these, there will be a two curve shapes depending on the template which you have opened. So let's hide these uh, curve shapes. These are just put there for your preview purpose. Now you can uh, select any of these layer and start creating the new design elements that you want. So let's select the pen tool. Let's uh, uh, you know, uh, select a stroke color and then uh, let's start creating these shapes. Now you can easily see that you can e uh, create the uh, design elements or, or mandala shapes easily inside this uh, uh, using these templates. Now I wouldn't recommend this uh, uh, way of, uh, you know, creating these mandalas. What I would recommend is that create different shapes separately in a separate file and then bring them inside this uh, in these mandala templates let me show you what i mean so i have this separate file in which i have created these random shapes random design elements and uh, i have i can just simply then copy it group them all together and then simply copy it and paste it into our into our template inside that this uh, you can say that this curve that i have just opened inside this little triangle uh, rectangle th triangle thing now once i paste it it is already inside it is already a child of that uh, main curve now make sure that whenever you paste any kind of artwork it should be inside this inside this uh, above this um, whatever the curve uh, shape i have already designed pink purple yellow whatever it is it is it should be all should all it should always be inside this curve shape it should be a child of this main curve shape now you can easily rotate your design element and create interesting mandala shapes depending upon what you like and what you want and, uh, uh, for the whatever your purpose is whether you want to create a coloring book pages or you want to create simple patterns something like that now uh, in this case now it uh, you can see that it is kind of actually finishing without any closing of these lines so uh, for that purpose i have provided this boundary layer so that you can easily uh, create a boundary outside it let's just make it a little bit thicker 
you know you can easily create boundary outside your shapes to make your coloring books more interesting and if you want to hide it that's fine now if you don't want these shapes to be end without any kind of closing areas you can scale down your design and easily make, you know create the shapes which is which are closing perfectly now you can easily see that with the help of a single abstract shape you can create uh, you can easily create several different uh, mandala shapes and uh, it can be very helpful if you want to create coloring book pages apart from using coloring book pages you can also create some different colored shapes to create interesting patterns mandala patterns that you can uh, again use uh, for your design purposes so i have different uh, these different shapes layers uh, that i have created and i've colored them with random colors so let's select all of these layers so that we can all group them together so i'll press ctrl or command g and then this group then i'll press ctrl or command c to copy it and then paste it inside that power pattern template now once the template is pasted again you can easily see that it has created an interesting pattern shape and you can easily scale them and uh, you know create whatever you want to create with these designs elements uh, again as uh, you can use these templates uh, to create uh, these um, specific type of shapes then uh, then you can use for uh, print on demand purposes using creating seamless patterns i have already created a separate video on creating seamless patterns or repeating patterns inside affinity designer i'll put the link in the i card above make sure that you check those videos out and also uh, in, apart from these uh, vector shapes now uh, you have noticed that i have created these things in the form of vector shapes now if you don't have vector elements or vector shapes you can also use images inside for uh, for your purpose inside these uh, using these templates let me show you what i mean so let's, let me just hide this uh, design element and let's go to the stock tab and uh, we can search for different stock we can search for pattern and it will uh, search this website on the splash and use different patterns so let me bring in uh, an interesting shape let me just bring in these flowers inside our main document so once it loaded inside our document we need to bring again bring it inside this main curve shape in uh, under this added this layer we need to bring it inside it and again we can scale it up and make sure that our design is filled you can use images any kind of images png jpeg anything that can be open inside of any designer can be used to create these interesting patterns and interesting shapes now i wouldn't use these uh, you know scale them that much scale them up that much because that would cause blurriness but uh, just to uh, for the purpose of demonstration i'm showing you that you can use jpeg or png image inside these uh, templates that i have uh, that i have created to create interesting mandala shapes now let, let me just use a graffiti image i'll go to the stock and let's uh, uh, search for any graffiti now this looks interesting let's bring it inside our main document let's go to the layers panel and bring it inside our main curve shape now you can easily see that you can easily create different interesting elements different interesting patterns you use your own images your own photographic images that you might have taken with a camera or a cell phone uh, and you can use uh, these images to create interesting mandala shape elements that you can again use these mandala shape and export them in the form of png image or rasterize them here inside affinity designer and then create seamless patterns from these is uh, images now apart from these templates i have already created a complete kit of more than 30 different pattern shapes pattern designs pattern templates that you can use inside affinity photo and i have already created a separate video on this channel i'll put the link in the card above you can uh, get that uh, template uh, under that link from, from that video and you can you know start creating interesting designs in order to download this template uh, you have to uh, join this group master print on demand group that i have created and inside this group there will be a tab that's called files so as soon as i have finished uploading this video i'll put the these new templates these uh, mandala create uh, mandala templates for affinity designer inside this file section of my print on demand group so you will be able to download these files free of course and start creating interesting mandala shapes so hopefully you have found this video to be helpful and found these tips and these templates to be very useful for you if so make sure that you like the video and also please subscribe so that i can reach that 1000 
subscribers threshold and 4000 watch hours in order to monetize this channel and thank you for watching